everyone today I'm gonna show you how you can make the cross knot let's get started first we're gonna need two strings I've attached mine using a reverse larks head we're gonna take the string on the left side and we're gonna cross it over the other string so that there's kind of a loop here then we're gonna take it and cross it under that same string to form another loop and then once again take it under that string so we have three little loops we're almost snaking it around the string that hangs straight which is the one on the right and we're going to want three little loops and to make it easier just think of it as over under and under you're going to kind of want to hold your place to keep all your loops And then we're going to take that string that was hanging straight down, the one on the right, and we're just going to take it under all the strings. And then we're going to pull it through this top loop here that is on the left. It's going to kind of look like this. And then we're going to take that string that we just looped through and it's going to go through our bottom loop here on the left. So you just send it through and then we're just going to kind of pull gently on our strings and you're going to get a little square almost and that's the cross knot and as you can see I have this random loop here and the other side is straight so to fix this you're just going to have to go through and adjust your strings to make them lay how you want. Just like that. So that is the cross knot. And if you need it up top all the way or lower, you would again just pull on the strings to adjust until it is at the desired height, <laughs> I guess you can say. for a fun little variation if you want to use this for a wall hanging or a plant hanger or whatever you can do alternating cross knots so when you have two up top you can do one right between them on the row below so again we'll just take the two strings one from each little knot the one on the left crosses over to form this little loop then we take it behind to form another loop and then again, it goes behind. So it snakes around to create three little loops like that. Hold our place a little bit. We take the string that was on the right that's hanging straight down, take it behind all the little strings. It goes through the loop up top. We pull that out. And then we're just gonna take it over and over so we can send it through this loop here on the bottom left it just goes through and then we're going to give our strings a little tug to tighten it all up it's kind of a mess i have a little loop and it's too low so i'm just going to go and pull to adjust my string starting with this one And that's all there is to it. 
This is a great pattern if you want to try something new in wall hangings, if you're tired of just using square knots. It's just a fun little change. It gives a cool pattern and design. You can use it for earrings, keychains, really whatever you want. This is a great one to know. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.